Oh, I need some water. I didn't even run really that fast. <laughs> Alright, so uh, it is a beautiful Sunday and in an effort to save my shoes, as you saw the, uh, uh, the amount of flooding going on over at my normal trails, uh, I'm going to run over here next to the river where there's a bike path. So running at the Great Miami River, it's going to be fun. Keep you updated. I'm gonna join my buddy Eric during the middle of his run, so it's gonna be a good time. All right. So while I'm waiting here for Eric, um, just wanted to say this is day two of grindstone training. I think the name of the game with this training block is going to be to try to get as much rest as I can when I can. Nutrition is going to be something that I need to pay special attention to as well. All right, well, Eric should be coming up here soon. Grindstone day number two, here we come. Eric putting the throttle down. Oh, I need some water. I didn't even run really that fast, <laughs> but something about being in the sun on the road. Garmin told me not to run today. Just saying, which is the weirdest thing. I need to talk to some people about trying to change something on my Garmin ecosystem so that it doesn't treat me like such a wuss. Because <laughs> I needed to run today, this was amazing. All right, here comes Eric, he's turning around, he's continuing on. You're the man. Hey, do it again, right? Yes, absolutely, All thank right. you, man. Thank you. There he goes. And now off I go, get some water. All right, so I'm heading off to get some groceries and I'm taking you along. Um, had a good run today, uh, went about six miles. What kind of grocery shopping do you do? I used to be a traditionalist. I would go into the store and really take my time. But ever since COVID, I've been doing the click list here at my local Kroger grocery store. It's just so convenient, <laughs> it's so nice. So that's what I'm doing here right now, waiting for my click list. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This weekend I've been watching my feed on Twitter quite a bit because the Hard Rock 100 Ultra Marathon was this weekend. And Hard Rock, if you know anything about ultra marathons, is a huge deal. So I was watching my Twitter feed and uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, really kind of distracting. My whole weekend, I was constantly watching to see how people were doing. But 
it was because this race was happening that really motivated me to sign up for the Grindstone 100. Uh, I know that it's a very low chance that I'll ever run that race. Um, I think that the first year you apply for the race, you have like maybe one tenth of one percent to get in, chance to get in. Uh, maybe it's closer to half of a percent, but either way, it's very low. So, but we can always dream. And uh, I think it was inter really interesting to see the results. There was a 72 year old gentleman who finished the race, um, which, and there was a, a bunch of, you know, a handful, a bunch of 60 year olds. So, so it can happen. Um, I think if I apply for that race for seven or eight years, um, on the eighth year, I think you have about, at least right now, you have about a 30% chance, a one in three chance to get in. So might be a long wait, but it'll be worth it. I think if I got in, it sounds like an awesome race. I wouldn't put it past me to go one of these summers and run the course, um, over a couple days that I think that would be amazing. So anyway, hope all is well with you. I think I'm going to sign off for here for now. Um, until tomorrow <laughs> we're going to be doing this every day so have a good day if you haven't uh subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh hit the like thumbs up do that too it helps the channel and uh, the bell notification if you want to be on this journey with me over the next several months every day so take care have a good sunday we'll catch you in the next one